patients, doctors, nurses, everyone else, everyone in between. Welcome back to Project Hospital with the brand new Infectious Diseases DLC. And on the Infectious Diseases front, I have to say I'm very, very happy with how things are going. Um, we've now got, what, three, six isolation rooms, and then just like three regular wards, if I'm not mistaken, two upstairs and one downstairs. This entire block is solely reserved for infectious diseases and will continue to be solely reserved for infectious diseases. Uh, the rest of the hospital is also looking pretty darn good too. I mean, if we have a little look on the third floor, you can see that we have got an internal medicine department, which is, uh, which is looking good. I mean, it's not it's not super busy, uh, but I have no doubt that it's gonna it's gonna ramp up in busyness over the next wee while, and uh, I'm looking forward to to seeing that happen. Uh, I want to try and open up a brand new department, to be honest. I want to open up a, a brand new department over the course of this episode. I feel like I should be roughly aiming to open uh, sort of a new department every single episode. Is that an ambition? that is that is good is that a good thing to aim for i i don't exactly know but we're going to give it a shot nonetheless thankfully i've already got the uh, the floor plan all sorted uh, up here so we're actually going to see if we can immediately straight off the bat open up uh, an orthopedics department now what does an orthopedics department need? I mean, nothing crazy, nothing absolutely crazy. We will need to get ourselves an operating room, which is something to consider, but I mean, that's totally fine. Uh, also, I should note that financially, I am going to take out a little bit of a loan. I'm going to go up to, uh, you know, to uh, about a $200,000 loan, but that is completely, completely okay if it is going to guarantee me a whole bunch of extra treatment options, which is what I'm kind of after, to be honest. I feel like maybe we just need to get everything up online and then and then we'll sort of be able to address the, uh, the the sort of specific issues if indeed there are any that are still that are still kicking around okay so we'll grab the restroom you know we want to make sure that we just keep the uh, keep the outlying the outlying design the same i.e the, de the, de the design from downstairs we'll try and keep roughly the same nurses station we'll get a nurses station we'll get the nurses station over here as well. It's the same nurse's station blueprint, so I would not anticipate a particular issue. The on-call room as well. That's the slightly smaller on-call room, which I've resisted using up until now, uh, but that is completely fine. What is the specific type of unit that we actually need? That we actually need in orthopedics? I guess we'll have a little look in just a second when we get to the prefab for that, but anyway... That is a high dependency unit, a regular ward up online. Uh, we need an operating room, which we can actually just like straight up build right here. We've already got the, the space accounted for an operating room. A uh, little bit expensive, 25 grand for, uh, for that right there, but that's okay. A sonography unit, which is, is that it? Is that all that we needed? It did cost me 18 grand, which is a rather large amount of money, but that's totally fine. Um, I think that's it, actually. A, a very, very normal sort of department. Uh, we don't have a diagnostic unit. We don't have a diagnostic unit, and we don't have a waiting room. Okay, that's completely fine. Let's just draw out the waiting room in the same sort of in the same sort of way that we've done uh, downstairs. Yep, there's no there's no issue there. We can get the door in a second. Uh, diagnostic unit. Diagnostic unit is going to be slightly more challenging. We're going to have to take out another twenty grand loan. But you know what? Is that going to stop me? No, you bet your bottom dollar it ain't gonna stop me. I'm unstoppable. When it comes to spending money, nobody does it better. Nobody does it better or more irresponsibly. Okay, so that's another diagnostic unit in there. Uh, well, I say another diagnostic unit. It's another diagnostic unit in the facility. We do already have a diagnostic unit, I, uh, I believe. However, it's the first diagnostic unit in the orthopedics department, which is kind of exciting, isn't it? Okay, give me some nice fancy schmancy glass doors. Fancy schmancy glass doors over there too. That's fine if you ask me. And then we will go in and we will just get ourselves, we'll get ourselves all of the benches that we could possibly need. I don't think that we're going to need that many benches. I mean, I always go big on the benches, but to be fair, I, I really don't think that I need to go big on the benches. I should maybe tone back the the benchification of the uh, of the waiting rooms, okay. But I'm not gonna tone back the the coffee or vending machineification. That's right. That is indeed that is indeed a word. Um, uh, didn't really want that to go there. Uh, I kind of want to change it. And again, you know, make sure that we only give the receptionist a stool. We need to make sure that they are in. Uh, 
A constant state of discomfort. That's right. Something something about getting the most from employees. Something something something. I, I don't actually know. I don't actually know what I'm saying. Um, but that's okay. I, I rarely do. Okay, receptionist, brilliant. So now what we need to do is just get ourselves is just get ourselves a doctor in like each of these places and we're good, right? You've got the ability to be an orthopedic surgeon, so I tell you what, I might just might just do that. Let's just start with one single doctor in the orthopedics department. One for the day, one for the night, that's totally fine. Uh, we'll get ourselves an orthopedic surgeon, a super qualified orthopedic surgeon. We need three. We need three orthopedics doctors. Holy cow, we need lots of doctors here. Yeah, we need, we need a lot. Okay, Nancy, you're the most qualified, so congratulations, you can also become the chief doctor. I'm gonna set the certainty as, uh, as high, because if I don't, I worry that we might just end up conducting an unnecessary surgery. If we do conduct unnecessary surgeries, well, I mean, frankly, that would be, that would be a disaster. You're an anesthetist, so we'll get you. Brilliant. We need to get one doctor at night as well. So we'll have three doctors during the day, which is the absolute minimum that we require. And then we'll get you as a doctor during the night. And then literally all we need are three nurses, two of which can operate during, operate in the operating theater. I'm not actually entirely convinced that nurses do the operating, but certainly we need, we need another surgery nurse. We need another surgery nurse and we ain't got one. Okay, let me equip the night, uh, the night nurse, and then we'll go back to the day and see if we can find a day nurse. No. A day nurse that is medically surgically trained. Excellent. That's it. That's all we need. That's all we need. And bada bim, bada boom, suddenly the orthopedics department is online for, uh, for a hundred grand, which is pretty darn good if you ask me. Pretty, pretty happy with that. So that is, that is a nice step in the right direction towards uh, adding additional capacity and also just adding a brand new department, which is really, really nice because I like adding brand new departments. It's very, very fun and it's very, very satisfying. I like the idea of a hospital that's able to do everything. You know, that is that is definitely one of the most satisfying aspects of this game. Uh, okay, speaking of, speaking of satisfying aspects of this game, what else do I need to do uh, over the course of this episode? Well, to be honest, I mean, we've been treating a, a relatively... A relatively select number of uh, patients reasonably recently and to be honest I feel like we could do with with maybe seeing if we can try and uh, treat a few more patients let's wait until the end of the day let's wait until the end of the day as uh, as I feel like we should just sort of take a little bit of a, a little bit of a financial appraisal of exactly where we are yeah Okay, certainly getting another ambulance. I did talk a little bit about that towards the end of the last episode. That's how we can that's how we can sort of uh, increase the number of patients that we have. It is going to cost a fair chunk of change in order to get a second ambulance. Ambulances cost like 35 grand, but that may very well be worth the hassle. Also, we have a lot of emergency we have a lot of emergency doctors who are currently doing absolutely nothing, which is which is somewhat peculiar. I think we've got a I think we've got an idea about what we should do. I think getting a second trauma center would be great. There was that incident that we had at the end of the last episode uh, which was basically that the trauma center was was uh, was busy whilst somebody was collapsing. So a second and maybe even a third trauma center would certainly help would certainly help with this. Uh, but again, you know, let's wait until let's wait until tomorrow. Trauma centers are notoriously expensive. Notoriously expensive. I do feel like maybe we should get rid of some of these doctors, though. Dismiss employee. Uh, yeah, dismiss employee. Who's worse? Who's worse out of the two of you? You're a fellow. Are you more expensive? You cost 499. And you cost 413. So you know what? Let's fire you. Patient got diagnosed incorrectly. No issues whatsoever. We can... We can re-diagnose you there. Excellent. Okay, so we've cut back seriously, 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 seriously on the uh, on the emergency day staff, which should help us save a couple of pennies. Obviously, we're going to probably go negative here. Yeah, very, very, very much negative. The reason that we're going negative is because 
we have a heck of a lot, a heck of a lot of brand new hires in the orthopedics department, which is not ideal, not ideal for the uh, for the bank balance. But you know, to be honest, that shouldn't that shouldn't be a, a primary concern. The the primary concern is that we're going to be able to treat more patients. We're going to be able to deal with a lot more a lot more diseases, a lot more expensive stuff. A lot of the a lot of the really really expensive operations. You know, whatever. Whatever. Uh, a lot of the really, really expensive operations are conducted in specialized departments. So the orthopedics department, we can, I don't know, deal with bone fractures and stuff and, I don't know, bone resetting and, and all of that nonsense. Either way, a good opportunity, a good opportunity to make money as with, as with everything. As with everything that we do, there's a good opportunity to make money. Okay, so at the end of the day, at the end of the day, patient numbers are going to be back to normal. That's fine. 54 patients are going to be coming in over the course of today. Am I happy with that stat? Am I happy with that stat at all? I, I don't know. I don't know if I am. What was our prestige yesterday? Our prestige yesterday was 81%, which means our patient intake is going to be set at 91%. I'm okay with that. Like that's that's fine with me. I do want to try and get all five departments up and up and running. I also feel like maybe I should try and bash through some of these objectives here. Um, yeah, that's, that seems like a good idea. Treat seventy patients per day. The Medicare objective does seem like a a good one, perhaps to try and fulfill. Yeah, you know what? Let's see if we can try and let's see if we can try and uh, bring bring Medicare online. That's that seems like a like an idea. You're hospitalized. You're collapsing at this moment in time. We have a lot of people that are collapsing. Uh, you're going to be brought to the trauma center. Now, I guess this sort of highlights where the limitations of this current setup uh, are. And the limitations are most certainly in the fact that we only have one singular trauma center. So we can only deal with either one ambulance case or one collapsing patient at a time. So why don't I see if we can go in and immediately just get ourselves a secondary trauma center? Yeah, something like that. I mean, it is going to cost it is going to cost a lot of money. These trauma centers cost what, 23 grand? Yeah, you know, it's not cheap. It's not cheap for sure. But that's fine. Again, you know, we should never be worried about taking on extra debt. We should never be worried. Look, if I if I worried about taking on extra debt, I I wouldn't have I wouldn't have the uh, the confidence or the the stupidity perhaps. Uh, that I do have. Look at this. We've already we've already made a big old difference. Undergoing stabilization. Do we have a single doctor on in the evening? It's gotta be. It's gotta be asked. Yeah, we have a single doctor on during the evening. We should we should bring a, a second doctor online. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. I did not mean to. Did not mean to almost close the department. No, sorry. There we go. Let's get you stabilized as quickly as we possibly can. Two patients. Two patients. Both stabilized. Excellent. Crohn's disease or that i have no idea what that actually is but there we go okay negative 12 grand that's fine we've got 92 patients that are going to be coming to this hospital over the course of the day do i feel comfortable about that i mean not particularly you can be moved to general surgery yep even though we don't exactly know what the issue is that shouldn't necessarily be a problem collapsed patient is waiting for a bed yep you're waiting for a bed in the trauma center irritatingly we've not yet Oh, for goodness sake. Irritatingly, we haven't managed to move Barbara White from the trauma center. I, I don't know why. Uh, the patient transfer is just taking rather a long time, and therefore we're going to end up... We're going to end up having uh, the the ambulance come from the other hospital and pick up the uh, pick up the patient that was collapsing on the floor of my hospital, which is pretty embarrassing, to be honest. You know, just in general, I, 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 you know, it's not, not, not good. Not good at all, really. But, you know, you live and you learn, etc., Oh, look, 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 this is wonderful. Whatever, whatever the situation, we're going to be doing an expensive, an expensive surgery. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Is this the first case? Is this the first case of like hospitalizing a, an orthopedics, an orthopedics case? I think it might be, to be honest. I think it might be. Right. Transported to examination. You're going to go, you're going to go and have an x-ray. Excellent. I mean, how long... How long is the queue for an X-ray? I've got to, I've got to inquire. To be honest, it is, it is pretty darn important. Um, I mean, it's got a critical, critical workload during the day, critical workload during the nights. I wonder if it's worth us getting another X-ray room. I wonder if it's worth us getting another X-ray room. Oh, you are coming in right now, actually. So that's, so that's grand. 
so we should see you arrive in the in the x-ray room in just a second brilliant there we go throw you on the slab x-ray and what have you got brilliant brilliant this is looking good this is looking much much better only negative 26 uh negative 26 grand in the hole brilliant fracture arm surgery yes i love it i love it i love it i love it okay unfortunately i cannot move you manually but that's fine that'll definitely happen i'm sure that the nurse from the uh from the emergency department is going to see you is going to see you to the correct location either way i'm really really excited about the fact that we're going to be doing our first arm surgery our first arm bone surgery it's very very exciting indeed uh financially we're we're still doing we're still doing a little precariously but that's okay how did we do how did we do yesterday we actually made money yesterday if you exclude all of the the building which i always do because why would you why would you include that variable profits variable profits are a, are a more accurate indication of profitability than uh than overall profits we're continuing to invest in our hospital and that's what's important that's what i'm trying to say uh so yeah that's good that's good that's good i dare say we will probably be in a profitable situation by the end of the day which is great you've got rabies wow rabies we've got a lot of rabies cases over here that's rather crazy rather rather crazy okay throw it into one time speed throw it into one time speed because i want to I want to chat as I find my orthopedics case. Internal medicine. Internal medicine seems to be looking good, to be honest. The thing that we need to keep an eye on is all of the specialized uh, waiting rooms. So, for example, why the heck is there blood here? Uh, the, the reason that there's blood here. I'll tell you why the, the, the blood is here. It's because I haven't actually hired a janitor. I haven't hired a janitor to, uh, to clean up the place. Makes perfect sense. Corridors as well need to be allocated. Get that allocated as a corridor. Get that allocated as a corridor that allocated as a corridor and we'll allocate that as a corridor as well just to be on the safe side cool yeah no we need to keep an eye on patient numbers in the uh, in the waiting rooms just to sort of stay on top of that as long as we'll stay on top of that then uh, then things are usually probably gonna be fine anyway where's my where's my bone where's my bone patient aha you're being transported to treatment you're being you're being transported to the operating theater if i'm not mistaken Oh, I like this. Oh, wait, what? You're being... Fractured arm surgery. Yeah, this is required at a... This is required at a... Uh... We require an operating theater for this, don't we? Cool. Why Why on earth are we... Why on earth are we not doing the, the operating? Skipped after waiting too long. Used to relieve pain. We gave you we gave you painkillers. Are you preparing for an op? Uh, yeah, you're preparing for an op. Okay, so that's great. We're pretty much ready to rock and roll. So as soon as, as soon as skipped after waiting too long. What? There we go. You can't skip your surgery. That's the whole reason that you're here. Ridiculous, ridiculous idea. Anyway, I'm almost certain that you're going to come in here. And we're gonna move. Uh, we're gonna move Rachel Jones around into the operating theater. There we go. Love to see it. Let's get you operated on. Let's fix you right up. Okay. So so far, so far, capacity-wise, we're looking good. We're looking good. Now I'm I'm coming off the back of a reasonably quiet day. I'm aware of that fact. Uh, it's always nice when you go from you know a, a quiet day to a busy day. But we've got to be careful that we don't end up thinking that we're in a better position that we that we are in. Uh, because even though we may see 92 patients over the course of today, which I fully anticipate we will see, uh, and to be honest, it looks like we're going to achieve that. Monitored patient is collapsing. Who's that? Do I know who you are? No, not really. But you are collapsing, and that's not exactly ideal. That's okay. Anyway, let's go back to our let's go back to our bone surgery. Oh, look at this. Two thousand bucks. Two thousand bucks, by the way, for this bone surgery. Two thousand one hundred. It's even better than I originally anticipated. How excellent is that? And all it took was a physical exam and an X-ray in order to determine exactly what the heck was wrong with uh, with Rachel here. Four stars of satisfaction. Yeah, I'll say. How brilliant. Nurses are complaining that there's not enough stretchers. I, look, okay. I mean, what can you, what can you do? I, I've added stretchers 
in every single episode thus far? I really have? Uh, either way, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Are you okay, Daniel Lewis? Yeah, I think I think uh, I think you're okay. If you're idle at the moment, then I presume that you've got a you've got there's a, there's not too many there's not too many there's not too many too many doctors at the moment. I was thinking, do I need to do I need to call some doctors? How did you die? Did you get to the ICU? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. An infectious patient got hospitalized outside of an isolation unit, and as a result, a part of your hospital got infected. Staff must wear face masks. Wait, what? All staff? All st All staff must wear face masks? <sighs> Hospitalized out of an isolation unit. What does that mean? What does that mean? First of all, I'm not happy about it, but second of all, maybe we want to move the location of this diagnostic unit, if that's going to be the issue. Same with this here. Same with the cardiography unit. Maybe that's maybe that's the thing that we want to do. I mean, I don't, well, look, I don't love that. I don't love that even slightly. But to be fair... To be fair, it is it is a little bit unsafe that we were moving that we were moving contagious patients out of the uh, the sort of bubble area. So I guess we'll move that. We'll move the cardiography unit as well over if I can get a little bit of extra money because I really do not want to I really do not want to have to be wearing face masks for a long time. No siree. Okay, so the diagnostic unit's been moved cardiography unit as well needs to be moved over here okay a little bit of a pain in the backside because I was kind of keeping this area for more isolation units but as it stands there is there is no other there is no other option it's it's quite simply a priority that we that we do this plus you know we had this space it was it was going bagging anyway right so let's let's remove let's remove you guys from there so we're just going to choose from the existing staff. Jane Smith, excellent. Peter Williams, excellent. Yeah, fine. And then we're literally just going to sell all of the equipment. In fact, no, I don't even need to sell the equipment. I just need to dezone this. Dezone this. Dezone this. And now we've got everything in an isolation in an isolation area, right? I mean, it did cost us 20 grand. Of new equipment and stuff, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy about that. Also, I'm not happy about the fact that I, you know, I already, I already preemptively sequestered half of the hospital, which irritatingly uh, hasn't been hasn't been accounted for in the video game, even though I, I set up my infectious diseases area a little bit further away from everywhere else. The video game has not taken account of that. But you know what? You live and you learn. That's totally fine. All right. Keep on keeping on, everyone. Keep on keeping on. Maybe I should just get everyone in the hospital to wear masks. I mean, at all times. And then everyone and then everyone would get used to it. We've got two, lay, two days left on this epidemic outbreak. So it doesn't look like other patients can get infected with the epidemic. I don't think. Patient is about to leave. Uh, yeah. Ah, thankfully. Thankfully, thankfully, thankfully. You were just waiting for an x-ray. Oh, give me something good. Give me something good. Oh, it's just an arm contusion. That's 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 miserable. Miserable, 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 miserable. Uh, also, I should try and treat some more patients in intern mode. Increase the number of patients uh, in the clinic per day to twenty. I should do this. These these guys give me a lot of money, and that's really good. I, I like money. It's it's very important, as it turns out. Treating seventy patients per day. I, I think that we might we might hit that today. Actually, we very 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 well might hit that today. If not today, definitely tomorrow. Uh, yeah, okay, you know what, let's take control of a couple of doctors, what the heck. You know, each and every, each and every day, I, I feel like, you know, I, I have a real hankering. I have a real hankering just to sort of take over control of some of the doctors. Jessica Garcia, Robert Hall, Sarah Allen, Daniel King, Carol King. Any, any relation? Marriage, perhaps? 
Brother, sister? I don't know. Don't particularly care. Jessica Garcia, what's up? What's up? I need to diagnose. I need to diagnose you. Iron deficiency, nail fungus. Um, I mean, look, it's it's simple. We just need to do a we just need to do a a test. It's a micro microbiobial something or other thingamabobber. Physical examination. We could do a physical examination. Oh, fungal cultivation is uh, is just coming through here. Okay, we can wait for fungal cultivation to come through. That is totally fine. Okay, so again. The video game needs to needs to churn as it calculates if I've made money or lost money. I've lost money, obviously, but that's that's fine. Jessica Garcia. Yeah, we're still waiting for the result of the fungal cultivation. You've got uh, Ebola. You've got literally got Ebola. I mean, what are the chances? Infectious disease. I mean, look the. I mean. I have literally no idea what you've got. I'm going to just bump you to another department, frankly. That's that's definitely something that needs to be done. Uh, you have got something else which can also be treated at this department. I tell you what, I shouldn't do... I shouldn't take control of doctors in this department. I should take control of doctors in the infectious diseases department. The infectious diseases area, right, is the last place that people go. Like, there's no way that the infectious diseases clinic is going to refer you back to the... It's going to refer you back to the uh, to the emergency procedure. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, look, you've got Ebola, which is great. We know we know what you've got. Experimental serum? Flip an egg. I have absolutely no idea what we, can, what we can do about that. Where are you at this moment in time? You are in the isolation unit, which is great. Happy with that. What else? Procedure was finished on you. Excellent. Intestinal... Intestinal crypto. I mean, that's fine, right? That's okay. Blue means treatments. Well, we've already we've already diagnosed you as uh, as having legionnaires, or somebody diagnosed you, but that's fine. Okay, so nothing needs to be done as far as I'm aware at this moment in time. I don't think so. You've you've got rabies, rabies immunoglobin or whatever, serologic testing. Typhus. There you go. It's it's literally that simple. Literally that simple. Okay. I think I probably need to have like a whole bunch of like brand new brand new patients coming my way. There we go. Give you that. Do you need to be hospitalized in order to get that? Patient needs to be hospitalized before surgery. Sure. There we go. And then that. Excellent. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So that didn't count as uh, that didn't count as a successful as a successful treatment, but that's okay. Got a couple of people that are collapsing here. Hemophilia, that's blood thinness, isn't it? Low levels of clotting factor, yeah. So, uh, so no, so no blood. Uh, scheduled procedures have been finished. I mean, that's good to be honest, because that means that you're now sorted, as far as I'm aware. William Allen, congratulations. Uh, but yeah, that, that's that's fine. I mean, look, the fact that I the fact that I haven't been awarded any any credit for solving these cases, I guess it kind of makes sense. I guess it kind of makes sense as I haven't actually done anything. Uh, pneumonic plague as opposed to the bubonic plague. That's, that's fair enough. What, yeah, these these have all been these have already all been diagnosed. These have already all been diagnosed. This has got nothing to do with me. Okay, you know what? Maybe maybe I take it back. Maybe I take it back. Maybe I do want to get the uh, the the doctors in the emergency in the emergency department. Maybe they're maybe that's where the fun is. The emergency department is is where the flipping fun is, that's for sure. Okay, let's skip forward to the morning. Uh, where the heck did all my patient numbers go? By the way, is my prestige low? My prestige yesterday was forty five percent. Is that because there's an epidemic in full force? I dare say that that almost certainly probably infected. Yeah. Okay. So. Mm. Okay, so everyone's infected and therefore everyone's grumpy. That that's not my fault. That's not my fault. That's that's really really somebody else's fault. Uh, clinic is about to leave the patient. Uh, patient is about to leave the clinic. You are waiting for test results. Okay, speaking of ah, the reason that you're waiting for test results, you're not waiting for test results. You're actually just waiting for an X-ray here. I mean, look, something about that is is irritating. Uh, first of all, let's treat you critically. So let's uh, let's get you let's get you dealt with next. 
which is which is good. The patient is about to leave the clinic. You are also yep, yeah, you're also waiting for uh, for an X-ray being called. You're ending up you're ending up in there next. That's fine, I guess. Patient died. How the heck did you die? How the heck did you die? I mean, I really do not understand. I really do not understand how this ended up happening, frankly. That is that is surprising. That is very, very surprising. Like, I thought that our ICU was actually in a pretty good place. All right, well, that's just going to tank prestige yet again. Not like it really matters at this moment in time. I mean, it matters, but it doesn't matter, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, that's, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, you know what the good news is? Is that I can actually just, like, accept more insurance companies. Who else do I want to accept? I can accept cheapo care, and they can also accept uninsured patients as well. So that's going to bring us up to 72. At least we've got the ability. At least we've got the ability to uh, to do that. Nasal fracture, uh, orthopedics, excellent. You're going to get uh, you're going to get moved to the right location. Brilliant. Don't let any of the patients know, by the way. Don't let any of them know that we did have an outbreak of Ebola in the hospital. It wasn't my fault. I'm sorry, <laughs> it wasn't me, don't blame me. I'm just realizing, by the way, I can purchase a second ambulance and I can clear off two insurance objectives, which I really feel like I should do. I feel like that would be a no-brainer. Uh, it would require another loan. And it does cost me 35,000 35, bucks. Long wait for examination, temperature measurement. Uh, I mean, you've got lead poisoning. How certain are we about the fact that you've got lead poisoning? I mean, like, not very certain, like, at all. Can we perhaps do some more tests, please, just to make sure? Yeah, let's do some. Let's do some more tests. I really do not feel very comfortable diagnosing you as uh, as having lead poisoning. What have we got here? Internal medicine or HPS? Oh, why were you moved up? Why were you moved up here? I really think that that was probably a, a pretty cataclysmically bad decision yeah okay call this patient please as quickly as possible okay there are a couple of patients that are about to leave the clinic but it's okay because the day shift is just about to begin and therefore the fun is about to start right let's do let's do jessica garcia robert hall sarah allen daniel king carol king i think that that's probably more than enough right Okay, a couple of patients may decide to leave the clinic. Those people are traitors. I'm not bothered if they decide to leave the clinic. That's fine. We have one day left of uh, of an outbreak, which I didn't start. Nancy Thomas, you died of something. You died of something nasty. Fine. We should get a, a pathology department up and running because we have so many people that are dying. We could really do with making a little bit of extra money off these uh, off these dying people. Crazily enough, the pathology department actually allows you to make money examining a dead body which is great very very nice i don't 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 mind it myself it's uh it's very very good the game is of course calculating exactly how much money i've made it's eight o'clock in the morning all right jessica jessica garcia lisa lewis what have we got you're gonna get an interview you're gonna get interviewed by daniel king and then we can and then we can chat Right, so you've either got broken ribs or you've got a chest contusion. Frankly, does it matter? I suppose it does matter. I suppose it does matter. How can we determine how can we determine what the issue is here? Swelling, that's with a physical examination. I mean, look, we should do a physical examination in the first instance. Do a physical examination in the first instance. Patient with an incorrect diagnosis has returned. I don't care, that's not my responsibility. D deal with deal with that, somebody. Also, we just made a, a an absolute ton of money yesterday, so uh, so that was great. Or we made a ton of money, thanks to we made a ton of money thanks to the uh, thanks to the decision that we took to accept as many patients as we possibly can. What is this? Thorax contusion. We need to X-ray the chest. Okay, I mean, look, if we need to X-ray the test, then we uh, the the test. If we need to if we need to do an X-ray test, if we need to run an X-ray. for Goodness gracious me. We need to run a chest x-ray. Then we need to run a chest x-ray. Uh, it maybe does sort of focus my mind a little bit more on the on the issues that we have with our x-ray setup. Almost certainly we need to... You're dead. How did you return? I, I can't... I literally cannot send you home. So, well, there we go. Okay. Patient got diagnosed incorrectly. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, I 
don't disagree with that assessment. I just think that, you know, the patient probably has more to consider. Okay. Interview, urinary tract infection. Excellent. Good stuff. Treated pa Treat patients of control doctors. Okay, so it's we need to now treat patients, which I think is is what we're after. Okay, and you get sent home. Good. Is that it? Is that all that we need? That's literally all that we need, I believe, right? So you, you have antibiotics. That's fine. Hold up. What's this? Last was rest. I told you to rest. Did I? Uh, so now we need to determine if you've got influenza, sinusitis, or viral tonsillitis. Well, that's that's awful. I feel like we need to just do some serologic testing here. I tell you what, I do like, I do like doing serologic testing. There we go. I do like being a detective. It is very very amusing. Okay, you have got a thoracic aortic aneurysm, respiratory crypto, or croup. Croup? Crew? No idea. Well, we can, you, you, we know that you can't have... We know that you can't have this. Irritable cough. Do that. Do that, sure. Alright, let's see. Hey, treat patients of control doctors. It looks like they perhaps need to get to the uh, to the edge of the map. Uh, and that will count as a, as a victory for us. So that's quite nice. That's quite nice. We're still doing the, uh, the chest test. We got a lot of patients that are collapsing. Why are the patients collapsing so quickly? There's not enough stretchers, not my problem. Right, you know what? I feel like that should have been able to determine the issue, but that's that's okay. Uh, physical examination, do a physical examination, because of course a physical examination should have been done in the first instance. Uh, I have no idea why the heck that uh, didn't happen. Antivirals, you've already been given antivirals so you should be able to be sent home yeah send you home sure excellent all right physical examination has been completed and we are still no further on okay you know what i feel like a real doctor here because i'm just gonna go i'm gonna go straight to i'm gonna go straight to the end and see Nasal cavity inspection. There's nothing. There's nothing that sort of differentiates the uh, the diseases here, other than PCR testing, which is what we can do like literally right now if we want to. So we'll do PCR testing, which is PCR sampling. Is that different from PCR testing? No, it's not. Okay, so go do that and then come back to me. Collapsed patient is waiting for a bed. Uh, para, para pneumonic effusion. My goodness gracious me. Uh, this is, this is difficult. This is difficult actually because I really do feel like I should expand. Wait, what? Hospitalized, transported to the room. Ah, okay. You're actually being transported to the room right now, which is great. Fine. Deep wound on hand. Is that it? You need to have wound closure. Excellent. There we go. Get to it. Treated. Send you home. That's that's it, right? We just need to we just need to send you home. Okay, if we send you home, is that going to give us a second a second uh, successful successful treatment there? I sure as heck hope so. Right. We'll do just a bunch of tests on you, John Williams, as we have no idea what the issue is. But that's completely fine. I'm sure we'll find out in a bit. All right, what do we got here? You've either got ulcerative colitis or you've got something that I can't pronounce from the internal medicine department. And also, there is a, a whole heck of a lot of other stuff as well. Oh, that's on the first page. Uh, look, I think the microbial thingy microbial test is is a good is a good idea i really feel like i'm using i'm using the i'm using the uh the medical labs as a bit of a crutch i feel like i should be able to diagnose people better than i'm able to currently diagnose them but i mean at the end of the day that's okay also that's two out of 20 that's great broken ribs or a chest contusion uh okay i mean look it's got to be an x-ray right it's got to be an x-ray that uh that examines that we'll do a chest x-ray 
chest x-ray go to the chest x-ray area and we can uh, and we can see to that as quickly as we possibly can 30 30 treated patients over the course of today ain't too shabby if i do indeed say so myself so yeah not entirely displeased about that patient is about to leave the clinic infectious diseases really i mean that is somewhat surprising oh it's not surprising it's it's the fact that uh it's the fact that the medical labs are just overworked I mean, that's literally it. That's literally it. That's literally, literally, literally it. And there is almost nothing that I can do about that. Okay. Bronchitis. Brilliant. Give you some antibiotics. Excellent. Send you home. Send you on your way. Richard King. That's a nice, easy... That's a nice, easy one. I do like... I do like a nice, easy case. So that should become three. It does indeed become three. Monitored patient is collapsing. Cool interview i mean 33 potential wow 33 potential pages of diagnoses okay honestly i feel like maybe we should just hospitalize you hospitalize you right now and then find out what the issue is later sarcoidosis or or that uh it's got to be it's got to be microbial cultivation that's what we'll do There we go. I do feel, I do feel very, ooh, speech listening. That's cool, I guess. Uh, yeah, we'll give you, we'll give you that in just a second. Hold up. Can I, can I hospitalize you? Regular hospitalization. It's not available at emergency, but I can do, do this. I can regularly hospitalize you, I believe, and then just give you, just give you that. Excellent. So let's hope. Let's hope that that's enough. Let's hope that that's enough. You have got that. Excellent. We'll give you cortisoid injections. Do you need to be hospitalized for that? I think you do, actually. So we're going to need to transfer you up here. Regularly hospitaloi uh, hospitaloids. Hospitalize and then cortisoid injections there. Cool. Will these still count as my... Will these still count as my uh, as my as my victories? I certainly hope so. You've got a chest X-ray. Fine. I tell you what, something that I didn't consider. We've now got a whole bunch of like bone stuff. We've got a whole bunch of bone stuff. What do we? An MRI. An MRI maybe would help. I tell you what, let's do an MRI. We we don't really have much use for our MRI machine. Yeah, I didn't think that the I didn't think or I didn't consider that having a bone department, right, would lead to an increase of, uh, of x-ray, x-ray stuff, x-ray demand, x-ray demand on the x-ray machine. What am I looking for here? I'm looking for nasal cavity inspection. Do a nasal, do an oral cavity inspection and then do a nasal, a nasal cavity inspection as well. Uh, so yeah, the x-ray machine is, is certainly being... It's certainly being worked pretty darn hard, given given the fact that we've got a bone department. Yeah, cool. Okay, that's fine. Keep up the good work, everyone. 37 patients treated over the course of today. Are we profitable? We're not super profitable yet, but that's okay. All right, what have we got? Hey, we were actually able to narrow it down to laryngitis without without uh without using without using a super expensive machine or a super expensive a super expensive test that takes like forever serologic sampling did nothing viral tonsillitis i mean is it serologic sampling that we need or is it is it serologic testing is that different is that really different i don't think it's different unless i'm cbc sampling i mean what can we do instead Nasal cavity inspection. We just do a nasal cavity inspection. Sometimes, sometimes it uh, it just takes it just takes you know old techniques in order to uncover what the issue is. Okay, a patient is being transported to another hospital. Not exactly happy about it, but that's okay. You have got a you have got a desperate need for a leg X-ray. X-ray of the lower limb. It's got to be. It's got to be an x-ray. Cool. All right. Well, again, another 
another demand on our x-ray machine it's it's fine you're waiting here and you're having no joy where the heck are you oh okay i was way to say you know we're we're pretty good at clearing we're pretty good at clearing the internal uh, not the internal medicine the infectious medicine uh area what I might do here, by the way, what I might do, in fact, this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to buy a couple of extra desks just to sit in this department. So, we've got a couple of, a couple of reasonable desks at this moment in time. I would like... I would like to just get... Is a lab desk fine? Not really. Get that over there, cool. Delete that bin. Excellent. Hopefully this area is still accessible. If it's not, blame somebody else. Okay. And then we get two computers. Excellent. And that should allow me to hire two more. Look at that. Two more, two more senior scientists. Two more scientists. Uh, yep. Night scientists too. We want to make sure that we maintain that speed. Look at that. Okay, get to work, get to work, get to work. Okay, the MRI yielded no results, irritatingly. Okay, you know what? Just do just do the basic stuff. Just do the basic stuff. The basic stuff takes, like, no time at all. Just get it done. Uh, PCR sampling, turns out, was not even slightly, not even slightly helpful. So, uh, again, let's just run all of the basic tests. Oral cavity inspection, sinusitis, we got it. We got it. Saline, nasal spray... Let's do it. Let's send you home. Brilliant. Five out of 20 patients. Or five out of 20 patients now dealt with. Brilliant. Love to see it. Very, very happy with that. It's it's tough being a doctor. Who the heck knew? I always thought it was really easy, but no. Turns out it's actually quite difficult. Okay, you've got bronchitis or sarcoidosis. Um, I mean, what, what can we do here? A chest x-ray? Gosh darn it. Gosh, gosh darn it. I really don't like the idea of just using my x-ray machine just over and over and over again. Oh, and we still have no idea what the heck is going, up, uh, going on here. Evaluation. Can we do an evaluation? Maybe do an evaluation. See if we can narrow it down a little bit. Hey, the evaluation totally, totally worked. Brilliant. And we'll give you that. And we'll send you home. Lovely stuff. Excellent. So is that five? Is that six? It should be. It should be a lot, I think. Microbial sampling. Good. Uh, I mean, I think both of... Oh, no. I was going to say, I think both of these diseases are treated with antibiotics. But that's that's total lie. Bad breath. Oral cavity inspection. Nasal cavity. Oral cavity. Uh, temperature measurement. Yeah, there we go. I mean, that should be enough to determine exactly what the uh, what the issue is here. Or actually, maybe it won't be. Microbial sampling. Fine. You need to be treated with antibiotics. Brilliant. Get sent home. Okay, I think that's seven. If I'm not mistaken. Blood draw has been completed. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, we can't do platelet therapy or whatever the heck it is. Uh, irritating patient presumably needs to be hospitalized for that no apparently not okay well that is what it is six out of six out of 20 i thought we were at seven out of 20 but that's okay right leave that leave that across to the side just for a second you know what just do just do a bunch of stuff do a bunch of stuff on you run a bunch of tests we should just run like a bunch of basic tests that we can do in the doctor's office if we can, you know, if we can manage to get away, the patient needs to be hospitalized before surgery. I thought that that was the case. I thought that that was the case. Definitely thought that that was the case. Interview is up. Lactose intolerance or like a pretty serious disease. I mean, we can test if you've got lactose intolerance, presumably. If you've got diarrhea, but you don't seem to have that. We can do a blood test as well blood draw. Yeah, go do a blood... You've got lactose intolerance. Can't believe it. I can't believe it. Don't run any of these tests. Literally, diet modification. Go home. Go home. You've already been dealt with. 
ECG. Uh, like you, this is this is not something that we can deal with here. Actually, no. Tell a lie. This is something that we can deal with here. It's just something that I don't want to deal with. If I can't diagnose, if I can't diagnose them, and give them a treatment option, then I don't want them, frankly, because I only want the stats. I'm only interested in the successful treatment option. Okay, so over the course of about one day, we were about to we were able to treat around about eight, seven or eight patients, I think. Eight patients, yeah, by the uh, by the close of play, which is actually pretty darn good. If we have a little look at our finances, you can actually see that I made money. Can you believe it? I was so busy being a doctor that that I made money. I mean, that's great. That's really really good. Uh, of course, you know we've got two thousand six hundred in in debt interest coming out of the uh, coming out of the bank account. We've also got to pay for the the upkeep of our ambulance. But that's fine. That's totally fine. You're about to leave the clinic. Uh, I mean, I can diagnose you, perhaps? Maybe? Maybe? Where are you at this moment in time? Oh, you're just waiting for an x-ray. Again, like, I really do feel like the x-ray sort of situation is, is a bit dire at this moment in time, but that's okay. At least the infectious diseases area is looking, it's looking hot. It's looking good. It's looking excellent. Uh, the corridors, the corridors of this establishment are not looking so excellent, though. Not looking excellent at all. Uh, very, very close to treating 70 patients over the course of today. Although I very, very much doubt that we're going to be able to get three additional patients that we need in order to progress the next insurance uh, objective. Uh, deep wound on hand. Uh, wound closure. Replantation. What the heck is that? We're, you're, you're, something's gonna be reattached. Okay, it's just uh, it's, yikes. I don't want to. I don't want to know about that. It seems nasty. All right, what's going on? Uh, all of your staff has returned to normal. You survived the epidemic outbreak. You bet your bottom dollar I survived the epidemic outbreak. Okay, prestige yesterday was in a bad place. It was at thirty nine percent. Thirty nine percent, which means our patient intake is at fifty percent. Which means yet again, you know, we're gonna be dealing with a chronically low number of patients, even though every single insurance company is uh is is contracted to send me patients which is great very very happy with that that's real good patient is about to leave the clinic what have you got you're waiting for an x-ray i don't believe it okay there you go getting an x-ray over here grand we should really get ourselves a second x-ray machine shouldn't we i mean look it, it goes without saying it goes without saying if the x-ray is like super busy then we should just get ourselves a second x-ray machine but that's fine Fine. Why did you end up leaving? Patient is leaving. Presumably because we were just waiting on test results. Presumably. I'm going to assume that that's the case. Also, this area is messy as anything. It's awful, actually. Uh, let's zone this as a corridor. Wonderful. Just to make sure that it gets cleaned up. Because if it doesn't, then we're, we're almost certainly going to be, gonna be uh, taking a prestige hit for no reason. Collapsed patient is waiting for a bed. Now, how are things in the ICU? I haven't really checked on the ICU in a while. Any patients that need to be moved across to anywhere else? No. Oh, okay. Well, look, to be honest, I was a way to say, you're going to be transported to another hospital anyway, regardless of what I decide to do in this circumstance. So, you know what? Just, just, just get out of here. Just get out of here. Just get out of here. I don't want patients like you who will just abandon this hospital at the drop of a hat. No siree. No, sorry. Long wait for examination. That'll probably be fixed by uh, by the morning when the staff uh, when the staff come in. A clinic. A patient is about to leave the clinic. Uh, and again, it's another test. It's another testing issue. It's just another testing issue. How many how many people do we have to test? Why is it that we just have so much demand for the hematology lab? Like the hematology lab is just like insanely, insanely in in a ridiculous state of high demand. Like, it's obscene. It's absolutely obscene. Okay, rooms of critical workload in the evening, zero, which is great. Happy with that. Very, very happy with that. Uh, we got a brand new a brand new day that is upon us, which is very, very nice indeed. Only $260,000 in debt, but that's okay. I think, I think at 8 o'clock in the morning, we are going to be, we're going to be surprised with how much money we make. I would, uh, I would expect 20 grand, so up to about 14, negative 14,000. Yep, actually, just about blew past that. How on earth were you able to die? Um, that's not good. Stool collecting. Uh, beef tapeworm. Easy, 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 easy mission. 
easy mission to deal with. Love to see that. Love to see that. That was a super, super quick cure. Uh, I'm sorry that you've got a tapeworm inside you also. That's that's less than ideal. Uh, right, I think I want to see if I can try and complete this doctor's mission here. Like, this is really good. I should also do the fungal thingy. What am I, what am I doing? Nail fungus. Yeah, nail fungus is definitely going to definitely gonna help. So do the fungal, yeah, myco, mycologic sampling. Go do that. And you've got either golfer's elbow or or elbow burstitis. Is it an x-ray? It's an ultrasound, actually. That's interesting. Or an upper limb x-ray. Well, I tell you what, the x-ray machine's actually not in a terrible place at this moment in time, so let's go and give you an x-ray just to see what the situation is there. That's fine. Okay, not bad at all. Jane Williams, what have you got? You've got just general numbness. You don't have a traumatic brain injury. It's no, not stroke, not tetanus. I have a funny feeling that this might end up being... Might end up being an issue that we can't solve. Okay, let's do... Sure, we'll just do a whole bunch of tests. We'll just see if we can try and run through the, the basics, really, just to see what the situation is here. Blood draw has just finished... Right, what do we got? PCR testing, stool analysis, E-L, E-L-I-L, something, something, something testing. Let's do that. Let's do stool collecting, and that's going to at least rule out two of them if, uh, if it's not already done by the time that we get to that. Malaria, love to see it. I mean, you don't love to see it, but that is what it is. Uh, uh, this is not good, actually, because that means that we need to put you... We need to put you into into hospital. There we go. Yep, you're going to need to hospitalize yourself, unfortunately. That's not good. All right, what have you got? David Lee. This is actually good. I'm getting into this, actually. Mil Milaria? It's entirely different from malaria, apparently, but it looks very, very similar. Right, what have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Heat rash? Can we just do an evaluation right now? I don't think we can. Oh, we can do an evaluation. Do an evaluation on you. See if that'll make uh, make any impact. Okay. Keep going through here. Excessive flatulence. Awful symptom. Dreadful. Right, what do we got? The evaluation did absolutely nothing. So, I mean, look. Shingles, shingles, or this other disease, which is rather similar. Physical examination? Do a physical examination, sure. See if that'll make a make a difference. We're probably going to be able to determine just from a physical examination, I imagine. Alright. Iron, iron deficiency, anemia, or Tebola? I mean, I have no idea how we, how we test for Tebola. We do a blood test. Do a blood test, actually. A blood test is the easiest way to determine if there's an iron deficiency. Now, I do actually want an iron... Uh, an iron deficiency, because then, then I can cure that. I can cure that with just an iron supplement. That's very, very easy to do. That makes me very, very happy. Hey, good stuff. Exercise, exercise, great. Get sent home. Brilliant. Abdominal palpitation, you've got shingles, antivirals, excellent. Two in one, two in one, super, super quick. A one-two combo there. Bish, bash, bosh, punch, 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 punch. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's do this. Thorax percussion, irritable bowel syndrome, diet modification. Love to see it. Get sent home. Three for three. Three for three. Peptic ulcer disease. Ooh, that's that's nasty. That is nasty. Neck palpitation. No, don't do a neck palpitation. That's not not connected anywhere actually. There we go. Examined. Abdominal palpitation, fine. Patient got diagnosed incorrectly, that's okay. Don't even worry about it, I'm happy to, happy to address this. There we go, and do you need to be hospitalized? Sure, regularly hospitalized, excellent, happy with that. What do we got? Abdominal palpitation, doesn't look like it yielded any results. That's fine, what are we looking for? Blood test, we can do a blood test. Or we could do a microbial cultivation. We'll do a microbial cultivation. Sure, what the heck. 
Uh, it is this one. Microbial sampling. Excellent. Go do that. What have you got? Oh, you've almost certainly got something that I've got. Something that I can't fix. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Just just get out of here. Just get out of here. Go, go deal with that. A pork tapeworm. Excellent. We've got a beef tapeworm and a pork tapeworm. Frankly, that is the best. That is the best combo. Get sent home. Love to see it. Nail fungus. Good stuff. Good stuff. Antifungal ointments. Brilliant. That's all we need to treat. I mean, could I maybe prescribe foot cream as well? Because if I have a little look here, you can see that I think that we can prescribe... I think that we can prescribe foot cream too. If we were to do that, would that make a difference? Will that make a difference to our bottom line? Send you home. If I if I prescribe more stuff, get out of my face. Um, if I prescribe more stuff, does that make does that make a little bit of a difference? Schedule procedure. Yeah, you've been sent home. Beef tapeworm. You can be sent home too. Right, I think. Brilliant. Okay, good. We're up to what fourteen slash maybe fifteen. Brilliant. Food contusion. Give me some numbing ointment here. Brilliant. Treated. Get sent home. It's literally that simple. Literally that simple. I think you were actually rushed to hospital in an ambulance there because you were in the trauma center for uh, for a sec there, Sarah. Right. Nail fungus. Food cream. Antifungal ointment. Cool. It's not possible for the patient to have the, the diagnosis. That's okay. Numbing ointment. Fine. All right. That is absolutely okay. Foot cream and antifungal ointment. Cool. Get sent home. That's 16 out of 20. We're doing we're doing a doctor. We're doing You totally have iron deficiency. I completely forgot honestly that you that you existed uh, because I I don't care about my patients. But also, I'm super glad that you don't have the bubonic plague or whatever the heck it was that you uh that you did have. Leg contusion, numbing ointment. I tell you what, I am like, a, I'm really efficient at this. I feel like I'm doing a pretty darn good job if I do say so myself. I am like, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Uh, okay, well, we can't hospitalize in a regular bed. You, you can be bumped up to HDU just for, a, just for a night or two. That's totally fine. Five patients have left. Honestly, that's that's fine. I, I'm absolutely okay with that. Have we, are we clearing these? I think we're clearing these... Uh, I think we're clearing these these people from the, uh, the 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 waiting room too darn quickly here. To be honest, there's just nobody there's just nobody waiting around. We're too quick. We're too flipping quick. Either that or the other doctors in the uh, in the hospital are, have stepped up. Patient died. Uh, you probably came to see me, but to be fair, probably nothing that I could do. I say that. I'm just saying that to make myself feel better. Uh, yeah, 10 grand. Holy cow. We're in a great, we're in a great place. We are in a great place. Serologic sampling, antivirals, brilliant. Excellent. Get sent home. Literally that simple. It's, uh, we've got one, we've got one last object. I was a way to say one last patient to, uh, to deal with. Turns out that's it. Okay. Correctly diagnosed patients of controlled doctors in resident mode. Uh, reach resident level with one of your created doctors at 20,000 government grants. Wonderful. I'm delighted that that is the case. Uh, I have two created doctors, actually. Worth uh, worth mentioning right there. Uh, yeah, I mean, holy cow. We've made a load of money. We've made a load of money over the course of today. I'm, it's just about to be closing time, but that's fine. Anyway, go into doctor's mode for a second. We're in intern mode at this moment in time. Now, all patients, your patients. Hide number of symptoms specialist mode. I mean, resident mode is... Resident mode is the next one. Hiding the... Hiding the number of, of, uh, of hidden symptoms. That's actually okay. Like, that's not a problem at all. Disable pulsing hidden symptoms. I've... I mean, that's that's not really where my issues lie, to be honest. My issues lie with the, the hospital infrastructure that cannot accommodate all of the... Yeah, see, that's, that's, I don't, I don't care. Like, I, the number of, the number of hidden symptoms, it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. I don't think. It 
doesn't matter to me. Proton pump inhibitors, proton pump inhibitors. You know, for all intents and purposes, to be to be brutally honest, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the diagnosis is. Now, the game cares about the diagnosis. I don't think the game should care about the diagnosis, to be honest. Uh, no, that's not the right one. What is it? It's microbial cultivation. Do, do an evaluation. Do an evaluation, and then we can maybe do still collecting if that still doesn't yield results. No, apparently not. Okay, cool. Well, we'll do still collection if we if we have to. It's gonna take a little while. It's gonna take a little while to uh, to determine the answer, but uh, but that's fine. All right, you are still waiting for me to do something here. There we go. We'll do speech listening as well, oral cavity, nasal nasal cavity, ear examination. To be honest, we should just start with an ear examination. Start with an ear examination, physical examination. That's it. And that will almost certainly determine exactly what we've got on this patient here. Last was a CT scan. Acute something is something, something or other. Uh, irritatingly, though, I don't think that's going to count as as one of my patients. Uh, IV antibiotics regularly hospitalized. Fine. Cool. All right. You are going to doctor. CT scan. Excellent. M I. M-E-I-P. I have no idea what the heck that does, or what the heck that means. Internal medicine. Brilliant. Regular. Booyah. Let's go. Either way, that's okay. Antibiotics. Brilliant. Okay. So, you know, correctly diagnosing patients is not is not challenging. Treating them is, is not challenging at all. Internal medicine. I mean, look, it doesn't really matter what I do here. Let's just move you up to internal medicine. That's fine. James Lopez, appendicitis or C dif difficile infection. I diagnosed you incorrectly and that reset my and that reset my uh, that reset my count. So I guess that I need to do that consecutively. That's interesting actually. That's very very interesting. Hmm. No free beds in uh, in trauma center. Oh, there's a bat disease. Oh, goodness gracious me. Well, you know what? On that on that batty note, and actually at the end of the day, uh, we're gonna wrap this episode up. Thank you ever so much for watching, folks. It's been a it's been a great one actually. I can't believe that we we beasted through two of the uh, the Oopsie Corpse objective. Uh, that's that's great. That's really really great. Prestige is in a little bit of a bad place, but that's okay. We've had a couple of unforeseen deaths. I'm I'm hoping that in the next episode we'll be able to turn off these two insurance companies and we can you know we can return to uh, we can return to uh, you know a large number of profitable a large number of uh, of profitable insurance companies only. Uh, anyway, folks, thanks as ever to fantastic Patreon supporters over patreoncom potato. Also, thanks to Banana Nana and C Senpai for being the two twenty five dollar plus tier patrons. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.